What's going on guys? Kurt here with another 5 minute guitar lesson. Today we're going to be learning River by Eminem featuring Ed Sheeran. Let's take a quick look at the song structure so we've got a better idea of what we need to learn in this song. This song starts with the chorus, then the verse, then another chorus and verse, and then a chorus, a bridge, a verse, and a chorus. This is a pretty common structure for a rap type song where you've got the chorus and the verses alternating basically. And obviously Ed's singing the choruses and Eminem is rapping the verses. So we can break this down into just three guitar parts. The part for the chorus, the part for the verse, and the part for the bridge. Learn this song even quicker by checking out the link in the description below where you can follow along with this tutorial, but also get lyrics and chords on top of them and any other cool things covered in this video. So tune up your guitar, put your capo on your fourth fret, and we're ready to go. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up or a comment in the comment section below. Your feedback is what gives me the motivation to keep making more videos. As well, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get access to all my latest content straight on your YouTube homepage. We've got the exact same chords for the whole song in the same order. We've got E minor to G to C and then end on a D. So starting with the chorus. So you're going to be playing on the 1 with the E, then switch to the G for the 4, and then the next 1 you're going to switch to C, and on the 8 you're going to switch to D. So that's 1, 2, 3. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. And you can just repeat that part for all of the choruses. Next up is the verse. We've got the exact same chord progression, E minor, G, C, D, and switching at basically the same times. But I'm going to make this section a lot more lively to kind of follow along with the percussion. Because rap is a lot more percussion than guitar, but you do have the guitar throughout this whole song. We're still going to switch chords on the same beats, on the 1 and the 4, but I'm going to make this one more lively to kind of match the percussion. Because the verse where Eminem is rapping is a lot more energetic, so we want the guitar to kind of match that feel. Still the exact same chords with E minor, G, C, D. So let's break that down. So starting on the E minor, you're going to play on the 1, 2, down on the and, up on the a, uh, then up again on the E, down on the and, up on the a uh, of 3, and then switch to the G for 4, and then do the same thing with a C to the D. One, two, and a uh, three, E and a uh, four, and then back to the E minor. One, two, and a uh, three, E and a uh, four. And one, two, and a uh, three, E and a uh, four, and Now finally moving on to the bridge. This time we're only going to switch from the E minor to the G to the C. The D's left off this time because you play the C for twice as long. 
So what you're going to do is start with your E minor, and you're going to play on the one and. and then you're going to take your palm and stop the strings to give it a short feel. Then you're going to switch to the G and play three and. Do the same thing. Stop with your palm. And then you're going to switch to the C and do that twice more. On the one and stop. Three and stop. So all together, that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Slow down, that's one and two, three and four, one and two. Three and four. One and two. Three and four. One and two. Three and four. And if you can get those three parts, you can play along to the entire song. Now, the one thing you might want to note is that the third verse can actually use a few different chords, but the exact same strumming pattern. If you want to check that out, just head over to my website in the link in the description below to follow along with the lyrics and chords. But if you just want to keep it simple, you don't actually need to do that, and you can just play the third verse the exact same as the other verses, and it'll still fit fine. Did you like this video? Well, then you better hit the subscribe button right now so you get access to all my latest content right when I upload it on your YouTube homepage. Once you've done that, click on this video or that video and launch your next guitar adventure.